This is the complete updated guide to Windows screen recording. We're gonna look at the simplest ways to record your screen on Windows with or without audio, plus the best screen capture apps available and exactly how to use them. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video where we help you grow an audience and scale your revenue with online video. If you're seeing value in this video, make sure you're giving it a thumbs up and all the links to everything I mentioned, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. Screen captures are a great way to step your audience through a process on screen, teaching them how to use an app or software, record a presentation with slides, or even capture B-roll of product pages or websites for your videos. In fact, screen captures are one of the easiest ways to create B-roll or overlay footage. So if you're not using them, you definitely should be. So in this video, we'll be covering exactly how you can capture your screen on Windows with a range of options, both free and paid. So there is a lot of options out there. You've got things like OBS, OBS, Snagit, Zoom, ShareX, Flashback, Bandicam, Screencast-O-Matic, CloudApp, Screencastify, Wondershare Demo Creator, Camtasia. So after trying and testing all the top options, here's our shortlist. So the first option is already built into your computer and is called Xbox Game Bar. But don't worry, you don't need to have an Xbox or anything like that. This is simple, free, built-in screen recording software. So this one is designed for gaming, but it will work for recording anything on your computer screen. So this one will let you record audio from your computer as well as your computer microphone. Now there is no webcam support, so this is a very basic option. There's also no built-in editing functionality. So this is just basic software for screen recording that's already included on your computer. So to open it up, you just wanna come down to the start bar and start typing in game bar. As you can see, we've got the Xbox game bar. And you'll see at the top now, there's a little pop-up that's appeared. And this will float above any program or any app that you have running. So you can do things like configure up your audio by pressing on this button here. And you can see we're gonna adjust all of our volumes and things in here. If we go over under voice, we can choose our microphone. And then the next one over here, this is where we can control our capture. So if we wanna take just a static image screenshot, we can press this one or press Windows Alt Print Screen. This next one here will let us record the last or the previous 30 seconds. So we can either click on this or press Windows Alt G. The next one across here is our main video recording or to start recording, Windows Alt R. And the last button here is to mute or unmute your microphone, or again, keyboard shortcut, Windows Alt M. So it's a really simple solution for screen recording on Windows. But if you do want access to a few more features to control this, they are kind of hidden. So you've got to come down here again to start and start typing in game. And we can see here game mode settings. So if we select on that and come up here to captures, then in here we can choose where our screen recordings are going to be saved. We can scroll down here and adjust things like our audio quality. So we could increase that if we wanted higher quality audio recording. We can also adjust things like our frame rate and change it from 30 frames per second up to 60. And also adjust the video quality from standard up to high. And you've also got the ability in here to turn on or off whether your mouse is going to be captured in your screen recording as well. So this is the Xbox Game Bar and it's software that's already included on your Windows computer. Now the next option you've got is OBS or Open Broadcaster Software. Now this is a really popular live streaming and screen recording software for both PC and Mac. And probably the biggest reason it's so popular is because of the huge amounts of settings and control that you have over everything and the price tag. It's open source software, so it's totally free. So to share your screen, you just wanna come down to this sources panel and click the little plus button and then choose either display capture to record your entire computer screen or down to window capture to share a specific application or window. So I'm gonna go with window capture. We'll go okay on this one. And you can then choose in here which application or which window you want to have. So we've got a Google Chrome window with YouTube open. Let's select this one go okay. And then we can come over here and we can resize and reposition this to customize it up as for what area we actually want to record. Now you also have webcam recording capabilities in here as well. So if we come back down to this sources area and choose the plus, let's add a video capture device, go okay on this one. And there we are, hey, I'm on webcam. So in here, we get a lot of settings to customize things up from your resolution, your frame rate. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and go okay with this. But then we've got our video feed in here that we can again uh, pick up, move around, resize, all to set the scene for what you're gonna be recording. So if you wanna create videos where you are on screen, you definitely have that capability here in OBS. Now you can also set up multiple scenes. So we currently have one scene here where it's recording my Chrome tab and me down the bottom corner. We could also create a second scene by hitting the little plus button down here. We can give it a name or let's run with scene two. And then we can go ahead and add new video sources into this scene. So if we click on the plus, let's go video capture device, we can add in our same webcam again. 
video capture device, go OK. There's me on camera. Let's scale this up so that it fits full screen. So we've now got a scene, which is me, full screen. And we've also got our other scene, which is my computer screen and me down the bottom corner. So all we need to do then is come over here and hit start recording. And while we're recording, you can just click on the different scenes here to switch between them so that your recording can include both. So while this is live streaming software primarily, it's awesome that you've got access to the same tools for doing your screen recordings as well. Now in terms of some of those settings, if we go over to settings and then down to output, then under the recording section here, this is where you can dial everything in from changing the recording quality, uh, the recording format, the encoder that you're using on your computer to generate these files and actually do the recording. And for those of you that are after the really advanced stuff, then you can come over here and switch your output mode from simple to advanced to unlock those additional settings. So there is a ton of settings in here. And this is why I say that this is really aimed at someone who is at that more advanced end of things. Someone who is looking for the most amount of features, most amount of control to really be able to dial in and configure everything up. Now, something to be aware of when you are recording with OBS is that while we can add these scenes and pick up and move elements around before and during our recording, once we actually hit record, what we're saving out is one flattened video file. So afterwards, you actually don't have the ability to pick up and move the webcam around or have it as a separate video file recording that we do with some of the other options that I'm gonna introduce you to soon. So it's not a deal breaker, but it definitely doesn't have that level of control or flexibility that you find in other options. So overall, it's a great option for free. There's a ton of advanced controls and everything in here, but it's definitely on the more complicated side of things. So the next option is Wondershare Video Creator. And this is another one that's available on both Mac and PC. This one will let you record your computer screen and also your webcam and any audio sources all on separate tracks so that you can actually edit these down afterwards, which is really powerful. So this is what you see when you open up the app. You just wanna go over to new recording. And once this loads, you just wanna come down to this little settings button here to configure everything up. So if we press on this, straight out, we get to customize our actual screen recording here, whether we want to record our computer screen or not, whether it's full screen, whether it's a custom size or a specific application or game or anything. So I'm gonna leave this here as full screen. We also get to select our frame rate, everything from 15 frames per second, right up to 120 frames per second. Or if you are gonna be recording a game, then you can specify that here. Then over here under audio, we get to choose if we want to capture audio or not. We get to specify our microphone. Likewise under webcam, capture, yes or no, and which webcam or which video source we wanna capture. And then we get to customize that up further with the resolution and the frame rate. So if I go ahead and pick my webcam here now, you can see we have access to all the different settings that that camera supports. And then down here under advanced, we've got things like enabling GPU acceleration for better performance if it's supported by your computer, where your video files are gonna be saved out to. Under encode, we've got your video quality settings. So if you want the highest quality screen recordings, you can set this here to high. And then you can control your shortcuts over here if you wanna speed things up with your workflow. So let's go ahead and hit capture. We'll see that I'm on webcam down the bottom here now. So then to start the recording, we just need to hit the big record button. So if I press on this, we're gonna get again, a countdown timer from three. Uh, it gives us some keyboard shortcuts to start and stop and to pause the recording, but we don't need to worry about picking up the webcam and moving it around because this is recording a separate video track just for the webcam itself and a separate one for the screen recording. Now we also have some screen drawing tools down here too, which we can turn on just like we saw in Cloud App, where we can do things like grab an arrow, draw an arrow on screen, uh, pick them up, move them around, just to add some annotations to your screen recording. So I'm gonna press the stop button here to stop our screen recording. It's gonna go ahead then and open up the video editor mode. And this is where this app gets really powerful. So we can see we've got a full editing timeline like you would see in regular video editing software here. We've got our recording at the top and we've got a ton of tools and stuff over here on the side. But then down the bottom here for our recording, you can see that we've got a separate track for the audio, which we can pick up, move around, delete, make adjustments to just the audio. And likewise for the webcam, and the screen recording. So let's say for example, that we want to start our video with me on screen, full screen, before we switch over to the computer screen. So what I would do in this case is select the webcam track here, then come up the top here to scale, and let's scale this up to 100%. And from there we can pick it up and we can move it around into position. Looks like we might actually need to scale it up a little bit more so that it fits our screen recording here. There we go. So our video now will start with me full screen. And then let's say at this point, we wanna add a split in our clip here to split it into two. 
then let's customize up this second piece here. So at this point in our video, we would want me smaller. I can come over here to the scale and drop that back down. So maybe we want me off to the side here for the rest of the video, or you might even find that you don't want the webcam piece at all, in which case we can select it, press delete, and it's actually gone. So the webcam piece is only there for the start, and then you're just left with the rest of the recording. Now in terms of other functionality you've got in here, if we come up here to titles, you've got the ability to bring in a lot of different preset titles and graphics and things for your videos. Below that, we've got annotations. So if we wanna drop in a dialogue box, then we can just drop it in on screen here. We can click, move it around. We can double click on it to customize it up. We can resize it if we wanna make it smaller. Again, all of this really quick and really simple. But one of the things I think is really powerful in here is the ability to customize things up like your mouse cursor after your recording has finished. So if we select our actual screen recording here and then come over to cursor, then in here we've got some different effects that we can add on. So we can use this effect here to highlight our cursor. So if we drop that on, you can see we've now got this yellow circle that appears. And as our mouse moves around, that yellow circle is going to follow that around so that it's easy for our viewers to see. Now, if I undo that now with this bottom track selected, I can also come over here to scale for the cursor. So you can see on the screen here now, we're making that mouse cursor much bigger. So it's another option that we've got to again, make it easier for our viewers to again, follow along with what we're showing them in our videos. And again, we're doing this all after the recording itself has actually finished. So this is a really powerful feature that most of the other options that we've covered don't have. But probably the biggest feature that this program is missing is the ability to apply any sort of color grade or color adjustments to any of your clips. So if we wanted to adjust the colors on say my webcam here a bit, right now there's no option to do it. So it's not a deal breaker, but it's definitely something to be aware of. Now in terms of pricing, you've got two options. You can buy this outright for $59.99 and that's a one-time fee or you can jump on a $39.99 annual plan, which will give you access to any upgrades that they release. So overall, I was pretty surprised with Demo Creator. It's something that's really simple, really easy to use, and it's great value in comparison to some of the other similar options that are out there. But if you're looking for something with more advanced controls and things like color adjustment tools, then the next option will be for you. So the next option is Camtasia. Now this one is a much more powerful solution that actually lets you record simultaneously your webcam and your computer screen and makes it really simple to record and create professional looking videos on both Windows and Mac. But the biggest difference with Camtasia versus pretty much all the other options is that this is actually really powerful video editing solution as well. And I know a lot of people are just using Camtasia as their editing platform, irrespective of whether they're doing screen recording or not. So even just as a video editor, this is a really powerful option. So when you open it up, you get to choose if you're gonna create a new video editing project or a new screen recording. So we're gonna go with new recording. And then down the bottom here, we have our recording panel. So again, we get to choose whether we are going to record our computer screen, uh, our screen resolution, whether we wanna do the full screen, some smaller or lower quality resolutions in different formats. So our widescreen formats, our four by three, or we can come down here and we can select a specific area to record as well. We get to turn on or off our webcam in here. So if we turn the webcam on now, we see we get a little preview window here. And if I put my mouse over it, then we get a bigger preview that shows up. Next one across here, again, is a microphone. We get to choose if it's on or off. And we also have some options in here for the webcam as well. If we hit this little drop down arrow and choose options, then we can configure up in here, things like the resolution and the frame rate that our webcam is going to be recorded at. So I'll cancel out of this now. Uh, likewise with the microphone, we can pick our microphone or we can disable it. And there's also our options in there for that as well. We've got our volume here for our microphone if we wanna override the default setting. And we get to choose if we wanna record our system audio as well. So again, that's if you're gonna be playing a video or any computer sound, if that's gonna come through in your recording. And to start your recording, we're gonna hit the big record button here. It's gonna give us a countdown from three, and our recording has started. We go through and we would run our tutorial or whatever it is that we're recording. Then when we want to stop the recording, we wanna come down the bottom here to the Camtasia panel and we can stop the recording, we can pause it, or we could delete it. We could scrap the recording wherever we're up to at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop for this one. And that's then gonna open up the Camtasia editor. So again, this is just like what you saw with the Wondershare app, but really on steroids, considering all the features and tools and stuff that you get access to in here. So again, down the bottom here, we've got separate tracks for things like the webcam and for the computer screen. 
and for any audio sources that we have. And we can again, pick them up and move them around either together, because I've got both of them selected, or we can maximize the webcam here to make it full screen or shrink it back down and move it around to where we wanna have it at different points throughout our video. But again, where this one really stands out is the power that you have in the editing tools and all the features that are really second to none comparing to the rest of the options that are out there for screen recording tools. So if we go up here under annotations, again, we've got a lot of the different callouts and things, under transitions, there is a ton of transitions that you can use in your edits. Again, we've got cursor effects as well to drag and drop that effect on so that we're highlighting our mouse cursor. You can see that we've got that now. And wherever we move the mouse around, we have that cursor being tracked. We also have audio effects and visual effects in here as well, as well as the ability to add in closed captions or subtitles on your videos. Now, just going back to those cursor effects, just to show you how much control you have in here. We've seen this yellow effect before, but we actually can come across here and say, whenever I left click in this screen recording, what effects do we wanna show for that? What sound do we wanna play for that? And then with the right mouse click, we can have a different effect or a different sound that plays just so our viewers can really follow along and understand fully what we're doing. But really, as I keep saying, the power here is really in the editing features and the editing performance that you've got access to. So overall, it's a really powerful video creation tool, not just for screen capturing, but also for video editing as well. So really, it's a complete end-to-end -end solution. Now, in terms of pricing, Camtasia sells for $249.99, so it's definitely not on the cheaper end of things, but given all the power, given all the functionality, the tools and everything that's in there, and that it really is a full-blown editing suite, it's a solid option. Now, if you are interested in checking out Camtasia, I would strongly recommend that you grab the free trial version so that you can actually see and test out if it's going to be a fit for you. So rounding this out, if you're looking for some simple free screen recording options, you could try the Xbox Game Bar, which is already installed on your computer, or you could download OBS. Wondershare Demo Creator is great for someone looking for that perfect mix of simplicity, price and features without being a full-blown editing program. But if you're looking for the most control and features both for your actual recording and for editing all in the one solution, then that's where Camtasia is the best option. But from all of those, my number one pick right now as best all-rounder goes to Wondershare Demo Creator. It's a great option and the best bang for your buck. So now that you've got your screen recording software on Windows sorted, if you wanna capture the screen on your iPhone or your Android device, check out the videos linked on screen now and I'll see you in the next one.